May 15th, 1862. If you can see all the way down there where the river bends, this was known as the Battle of Drury's Bluff on May 15, 1862. Today is the 160th anniversary of this infamous battle where the Union Army tried to take the Confederate capital, Richmond, Virginia, by water. Today is May 15, 2022. Captain Augustus Drury and his men were stationed here. This was actually Captain Augustus Drury's land. It is named after him. Five Union ships traveled up the peninsula, the James River Peninsula towards Richmond with, with orders to shell Richmond into submission. But once they got to this point on May 15th, they encountered strong resistance from the Confederate Marines down there on the banks with gunfire at the five Union ships that were coming towards Richmond. Two including the famous USS Monitor and U.S. Galena, or USS Galena. After four hours of fighting, the Union, or the Yankees, finally retreated. I'm going to walk over here to this cannon to show you how much of an advantage that they had in the direct line of fire to anyone sailing up that river. Now we need to also take into consideration that 160 years ago this was not wooded. It was completely barren just about. Here's some of the, the fort here. One of Richmond's strongholds. It's about seven or eight miles outside of Richmond, Virginia. Now here is an 8-inch Columbiad cannon. I believe these things were manufactured <clears throat> somewhere around Richmond. At, I believe it was uh, called Bologna Manufacturing. Anyway, here it is, as you can see on the side there. 1862. Now there was actually two battles of Drury's Bluff, but the second battle of Drury's Bluff was more of a land grab and not fought on the water. So here's some of the, yeah, look at that. Guarding them from any kind of shell fire. It's on the back side of the cannon here. And you can see the direct line of fire from here. The Union Army stood no chance. The USS Monitor was a heavy ship with its iron sides. That was their first target. But after several failed attempts to make that one retreat or whatever you want to call it they turned their interest to the Galena they hit it 27 times and killed 27 men the Confederates suffered 15 casualties at the Battle of Drury's Bluff and Richmond would never again be threatened from the Union Navy or Union Army 
by the James River.